So this is Gary's Black Tesla long-term forecast from 2022 all the way to 2030. And here's my chart where I took exactly what Gary Black had on his chart and I put it in my chart so we can both understand it nicely, properly, and to figure out what the stock price will be trading at by 2030 based on Gary's Black long-term forecast. So without further ado, let's get into it. All I ask in return is a like and subscribe if you haven't already, man. Come on, man. Let's go. But before we go, if you guys are looking to support this channel, now there's ways that you guys Guys can you guys can now join and become a channel member where you guys can unlock some cool perks get your crown man get your crown next to your name man be a king and queen come on man and woman come on as well as unlock some cool emojis and we have merch as well the go all in wall poster the go all in shirts and some she shirts followed with mugs and cups and all that good stuff if you guys are down and interested check the link here or the link in the description all right now let's go so first, let's go ahead and look at Gary's Black spreadsheet to see, you know, where he's getting his number from. Because as you guys can see here, he's saying by 2030, Tesla's going to do 10.8 million deliveries, which, you know, we're all expecting for that to nearly double by 2030. So he's saying 10.8. So he's taking a conservative approach here. So let's go ahead and review his spreadsheet together. First of all, he's saying that the stock price is 269. <laughs> very ironic but let's go ahead and look at the most important part we see ev adoption here in 2022 it was 3.4 percent in 2021 was 6.6 percent in 2022 he's predicting or he's guessing that it's going to be 10 percent by end of this year and then 2023 16 percent 2024 24 percent and then so on till 2030 at a 60 percent rate and get this guys he's saying that by 2030 at 60 percent rate overall ev volume global ev volume is going to be 54 million so pretty much what he's saying by 2030 is that there's going to be close to 100 million vehicles produced and delivered and tesla is going to have 20 percent of it and he's actually been saying that for the past six years from 2024 all the way to 2030 which by the way i don't think tesla is going to have 20 percent of market share by 2030 i mean i think it's going to be a whole lot more than that but anywho let's keep it conservative and i think gary black is trying to keep it conservative as well but with a 20 percent out of the 54 million it's about 10.8 million vehicles produced and delivered by Tesla. Here's the part where I don't agree with Gary's black prediction here. He's saying that average selling vehicle price by 2030 is gonna be $65,000. I don't think that's going to happen. By then, I think if Robotaxi comes and if they bring out the new vehicle, the Model 2 or the $30,000 car, 65000 is going to be, it's just not going to happen. It's going to be at least 35,000 per vehicle and this will if if the price is down to 30,000 35,000 we can see more than 20 million vehicles produced and delivered by Tesla alone but i see what he's doing he's saying that okay if selling price is 65,000 obviously the volume is not going to be there because the price is high so it makes sense on how he's thinking and i understand he's saying that Tesla's gross margin by 2030 is going to be close to 33% which is absolutely insane his operating margin is going to be 27% and the total adjusted eps is going to be 42 bucks which is not bad given the fact that he's only putting vehicles alone right he's not adding anything else it's just vehicles there's no fsd there's no energy there's no tesla bar there's no robo taxi there's no tesla insurance it's just pure vehicles so he's looking at it at a very conservative way but what's really crazy here guys is that look he's saying it's gonna be a 47 percent growth year after year after year so that's actually pretty good his estimations is even better than wall street they're saying that 28 percent just look at the eps <laughs> 2030 EPS, $14. Bruh. $14, man. That's Gary's black, like, 2024, 2025 predict. No, man. Come on, Wall Street. Get your act together. But what you guys may have noticed is the PE here. You guys can see from 2022 around the 61.2 PE all the way to 2030 at 6.4 PE. Now, this is not, he's not saying this is what the PE is going to be then. Because obviously, 6.4 PE in 2030, that, that doesn't make any sense. This PE is reflected on the Tesla price that he put at 269. So let's say by 2030, Tesla has an EPS of $42 and the stock price is 269. Then, then it's a PE of 6.4. That's how he's doing it. We'll clarify what the stock price would be or guess what the stock price will be based on his chart on the chart that I made based on this. So yeah. And the last thing that I want to point out on this chart here is that look at this. He's saying 44% EV adoption is going to grow every single year, which is actually really good. And a 45% delivery growth every single year for Tesla, which is really good but then again he's missing three years here and he's only saying from 2026 to 2030 there's only going to be a 15 percent increase which honestly i don't think that's realistic but he's going based on ev adoption so if ev adoption by 2030 is 60 percent and tesla has 20 percent of it then yes it'll be 10.8 but my opinion man 
I think the EV adoption is going to come a lot faster than that. But anywho, let's go to the chart that I made based on his chart here. And let's see what the stock price will be, man. If you guys are ready, man, smash that like button, man. Come on. And here's the chart. And the first thing you guys probably realize is that, yes, it's just vehicles. As I mentioned earlier in the video, Gary Black is doing this solely and purposely on vehicles. Nothing else. Just vehicles raw. That's it. Nothing else. Another thing you guys have may notice right away, right off the bat is, as you guys can see, Tesla stock for, you know, from 2022 all the way to 2030 is the same price. 270 to 69 with the current pe's as you guys can see that's the stock price that we get and you know as i mentioned earlier as well that's what he was doing now i do really want to point this part out because this part is absolutely nuts he's saying in 2023 in order to get these numbers i had to break down the shares outstanding and what he's saying is that by 2023 tesla's gonna dilute 14 percent of shares which is absolutely insane from 3.1 billion as is now to almost 3.6 billion which is absolutely insane and then in 2024 a 13 percent dilution around 4 billion and then from 2024 to 2025 a 3 percent and then from 2025 to 2026 a 4 percent and then from 2026 all the way to 2030 a 5% dilution making it over 4.5 billion shares outstanding which is absolutely nuts honestly guys in my opinion i think once tesla comes with a buyback program maybe in 2024 2025 i don't think we'll see a shares outstanding at 4.5 billion by 2030 that's insane and if tesla still has to dilute in 2030 and they're making almost 200 billion dollars in net income that's just silly. There's no point of diluting. At this point, they're just taking away money for no reason. I mean, come on, you're making $200 billion yearly. What do you want to dilute? Do some buybacks, man. Come on, man. But we have to come back and remember that this is just a prediction. And I can see that Gary Black is being conservative with his prediction. I mean, the guy is only putting vehicles only. Come on. And as a result of these shares outstanding and shares being diluted, we can see the stock price is the same, but the market cap keeps getting more and more. Your 269 in 2023, market cap at 957 billion same price in 2030 269 but over 1.2 trillion dollars again dilution that's what dilution does to your investment but i highly doubt that they're going to be at 4.5 billion shares outstanding pre-split because i know they'll have multiple splits as we go forward by 2030 it just doesn't make any sense but now let's go figure out the stock price man you guys ready man then smash that like button man in 2023 or the next six to 12 months gary black said that the stock price his stock price target is 550. Now, what's the correct PE to get 550 here? So let's play with the number. This is the first time I'm doing this, so let's do it together. Let's do 66, okay, 528, okay, let's do 70, okay, 560. Don't tell me it's gonna be 69, man, 60. Flippin' Gary Black, man, you sneaky, you sneaky. So 69 PE, gives a stock price of 552 bucks per share and a market cap of one point over 1.9 trillion dollars essentially almost reaching 2 trillion dollars this is what Gary Black is saying the stock price could be trading at price target in the next 6 to 12 months not bad not bad a 69 pe in 2023 I think that makes sense. But in 2024, let's see what the stock price would be then. I'm guessing maybe in 2024, a 60 PE would be right. 60 PE would give a stock price of six, 69, 69 again, 690 bucks per share. However, though, I think this will be a best case scenario. I think that if it's just vehicles alone, I think a 55 PE would make more sense. So 632 and a market cap of 2.5 trillion. That makes sense. In 2025, I'm going to give it a PE of 45 because, again, at this point, they're just doing cars. There's nothing else. We're not going to add any other source of income for Tesla here. After we will, but not now. So if they're making so much money and they're crushing earnings after, I mean, look at this, from $46 billion to $66 billion in, in a year. $20 billion increase in just net income in a year. That's insane. That's going to bring the PE down big time. So a 45 PE would give us a stock price of $720, almost reaching three trillion dollars in market cap in 2026 i'm going to give it a pe of 40 and that will give us a stock price of 832 bucks per share and a market cap over 3.5 trillion dollars and last but not least 2030 we are skipping three years so i brought down the pe to 25 pe and that will give us a stock price of 1050 and a market cap over 4.7 trillion dollars Sheesh. that's what like a 4x 4.5x from now even just for vehicles alone come on man and again 25 pe by 23 for tesla is just doesn't make it doesn't make any sense it just doesn't but as usual you guys know me we're keeping things conservative all right now let's add the fsd on top of this 
and let's see what we get this is going to be interesting all right so in 2022 an average of 12,500 because they are increasing the fsd price i mean they've already increased it in this month to fifteen thousand dollars so if you do the average it comes down to an average of twelve thousand five hundred and then every single year i increase it by two thousand and then by 2030 it should be twenty nine thousand most of you guys the bears look in here just saying that there's no way that fsd is going to be worth twenty nine thousand dollars by 2030 well let me ask you this what was fsd price just two years ago it was eight thousand dollars in 2020 now it's fifteen thousand dollars it's been doubled i'm not saying it's going to be doubled in the next two years here i'm saying it's going to double in the end of this decade so talk about being conservative i'm just saying but anyways vehicles with fsd i left it at 15 percent even though it should be double but a 15 percent rate is fair for tesla and we get a vehicles with fsd of 206 in 2022 fsd sales over 2.5 billion dollars profit margin at a 48 percent every single year is going to grow two percent because that's what the data says and we're going to use that data in this chart here and that will give us an fsd profit margin or a profit of over 1.2 billion dollars add on top of that it's another two billion dollars extra for the net income to 15 and a half billion dollars and with a 61 pe it's around 303 bucks per share still not reaching at 1 trillion mark now let's do the same thing for 2023 and here we get a stock price of 625 and a net income literally more than double than in 2022 sheesh from 632 bucks per share all the way to 729 bucks per share now it's getting really juicy ain't it let's see 2025 834 bucks per share bro that's just insane that's insane all right 2026 972 bucks per share now we just reached over 4 trillion Sheesh. and you know we said 4 trillion just vehicles alone by 2030 now we're saying with fsd 4 trillion by 2026 you all ready to see 2030 man i'm ready man this is my first time too i'm just i got everything ready i should have just done this live next time next time all right 2030 we get 1282 bucks per share and a market cap almost hitting six trillion dollars like bruh we went from 1050 bucks per share 2030 just vehicles alone and now we're slapping on another 230 bucks on top of that with fsd that's insane that's insane just wait for the other stuff to come in man sheesh it's gonna be absolutely crazy so what right now the stock price is about 220 230 right that's about what almost a 5x with this that's insane 5x your money by 2030 i'm down i'm down i'm, I'm telling you guys i'm going all the way into tesla stock man i bought a whole bunch today yesterday the day after i'm literally cashless i'm gonna sell this moon to get some more tesla stock man sheesh however let's see if this will age well gary black did say by 2023 essentially in the next 6 to 12 months his price target is 550 with a you know pe of 69 so let's see if this will come true in the next 6 to 12 months personally if the market is this terrible the market sucks right now man everything just sucks at the moment i don't think we're gonna see that 550 in the next 6 to 12 months but if things get a whole lot better then I think easily we can see 500, 400 for sure, 500. Well, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? But guys, this was extremely conservative. Gary Black, he's a, a top analyst. And yet he's being very conservative, just, just predicting vehicles only. He's not even adding anything else. I mean, this, this is very important. I can't stress this enough. It's just vehicles alone. And the price target with a 25 PE based on his own numbers is over 1,000 bucks per share by 2030 a 4x from now sheesh that's insane now imagine adding fsd on top of that which we did here that added on another 230 bucks per share by 2030 and then imagine tesla insurance and then robo taxis and then tesla bot and then energy and then so on and so on and so forth bruh if you add them all in you will get a sheesh number absolutely insane and in fact i made a video about this 2030 stock price prediction including everything tesla bot tesla insurance energy robo taxi fsd vehicles everything everything that we know today we don't know what tesla may come up with another two three years but check out this video you'll see what the stock price will be by 2030 prediction obviously but shows you the potential it's a sheesh it's really a sheesh check out some merch guys and don't forget to subscribe and i shall see you guys in the next video see ya